I love the song Tokyo Ghoul Unravel. And every single time I do that to my lighter, it makes me think of the background song you're hearing right now. But that's not where you guys clicked on the video. Bizarre Daddy uploaded a new video, something for us to enjoy. This is number 90. We are very close to his 100th video for the scary comp. It will probably be out. I bet you he released number 100 in October. With how frequent he uploads video, I think it'll be in October. Before we even start today's video, I do want to let you guys know I still have the idea of going through the Bizarre Bub videos that I missed, as in the ones in the 60s, 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s, 10s, and the 1. But with now the introduction of both Slapped Ham and with Sir Spoots, I almost have limitless options, which I'm happy about. On that note, we're going to be watching Scary Comp version 90 from Bizarre Bub. <sighs> I don't think I'm gonna go to sleep tonight. On the night of March 5th of 2024, a young girl is wide awake at a time when she should be asleep. I'm wide awake! Despite being past her bedtime, this doesn't oh, stop her sorry, from guys. playing with her toys. Throughout the night, she remains awake I'll while keeping mean. herself engaged in imaginary play. But little does she know, something unexpected would interrupt playtime. I'm sorry, but if this kid is in a modern day, one, the mother's doing a great job on not giving her an iPad or iPod or DS or PSP or Game Boy or whatever or a phone because mom you're watching this I used to break into your room like lately at night knowing when you're like the dead like in your deaths of sleep and I'll steal my DS back that's why there's nights where you're like where's your DS I'm like I don't know yeah I took it at like two o'clock in the morning in your nightstand and you never caught me because I memorized every single creek. I would just ninja my way into her nightstand to take my DS and my sisters. So I'll come back into my bedroom and play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Blue Rescue Team, while my sister played Red Rescue Team. I had it for DS. She had it for Game Boy. I'll be playing Pokemon Pearl. She'll play Diamond. Or it'll be Fire Red, Pearl Relief Green. Yeah, that's what I did. But she has a baby monitor, so that's why she sees what she's doing. But just want to add that in there. So good on this TikTok mom for not letting her have any electronics because I regretted it the next day, but still did it the next night. According to the child's mother, the family has been on edge ever since watching the footage recorded on their daughter's security camera. It's around 11 at night when this is captured. 11? I mean, yeah, actually, fuck toys because. <laughs> The Furby. Oof. Girl. Why is that doll looking at the camera? Let me just put my coffee down. I saw an orb. Sure, I'll play with you. Come on, you can play. Yeah. Isn't that a doctor? <laughs> doctor, do not Doolittle. Girl, you know not to stick your feet or go out your bed and look under. Mom, why have you not teach her the damn? She gone.
Now I know my ABCs. It's no wonder that the mother has kept her daughter away from this room, from a toy lighting up on its own and strangely playing the same song the child hums, to seeing her getting dragged under the bed in a seamless motion. The family is extremely concerned for the safety of their children. I'm not laughing. They believe that something had lured her using a toy. Although it isn't certain if the mother had asked what her daughter had seen, she's made sure to lock the room after seeing this. But only a few days later, she does this. So I've been getting a lot of questions. Um, people have been asking me, have you been in the room? Have you guys looked under the bed? No, we haven't. We haven't been in the room in the last two days. We've been a little scared. Are we, are we a fucking Resident Evil? Just go, just go in the bitch. Fake. This is fake. Nah, motherfucker, can you not make it dark as hell? Why? If his face popped up, I'm fighting. Anybody be gotta catch him all, you better catch his hands. No. I didn't see what it is. I'm looking away. As if checking under the bed wasn't already scary enough, she captures this. A creepy looking doll hidden below the mattress. She continues to record when suddenly the doll begins to move. Now it's a bit hard to see at first, but after looking again, Their its hands. head can be seen shifting ever so slightly. It's as if it knows it's being seen. Immensely terrified, the mother bolts out of the room in a panic frenzy. Naturally, she's kept the room locked ever since then. While it isn't known if anything else had occurred outside of the room, the mother continues to post updates, giving her thoughts on the whole situation. But currently, the question on the parents' mind remains unanswered. Just what exactly had dragged their child under the bed? Just get an extended mag? No, the, the, the fucking drum? And just, just... Just sweep. Just sweep underneath the bed. Until you think it's gone. If you think it's still there, then just flash grenade out and then same thing. Unload, reload. No going underneath. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Simple. Number C at that. In the following video. Two friends who work at a hotel are playing with an elevator that's going down to the floor below. Both friends are racing against you, the elevator, somebody. running to the second floor before it gets there first. But while heading over, something happens inside this elevator that neither friend could explain. This oh, no. is what was caught. I think I've done this before. Well, I should need some WD forty.
Something just moaned. It just keeps an opening. <laughs> Bitch, I... F Although the sudden appearance of this girl is startling on its own, it's what happens earlier that's by far the most baffling. Immediately after arriving to the second floor, its door, for some reason, begins to open and close while staying on the same floor. But even stranger is that a faint voice is heard inside the elevator. I ain't tipping no more hotel workers no more. Fuck them. It kind of sounds like it's saying mm-hmm or something along those lines. Mm-hmm. Now, neither friend could explain this, but surprisingly, this incident is just one of many. Nope. It would be at this exact hotel where the two friends work at that another peculiar incident had occurred. Take a look. I want to say Chris Brown. From this room that is unoccupied in the second floor. And this is second like the floor. third time it's happened. And uh, I'm bringing you all along with me, so... Um, uh, oh. I'm going to do like a like a Mega Buster from like Mega Man or Roman Reigns Superman Punch. The fuck? Something like this for Okay. Nah, that's when you just leave. Nah, you just leave. Bro, you entered it? I mean, I saw his skin color when he opened the thing, but. Okay. There's a the phone. No one's it's phone. A... No one's here. Yeah, if it's not I'm ringing, sure. I'll what? Not the Wonder Pets. Uh. Yeah, okay. I mean, no one here, no phone calls. I'm out. This is weird. The room itself is already creepy enough, but the fact that someone, as he mentions, has been calling from this room makes it even more unsettling. While the employee doesn't state if he had seen anyone or anything inside, he goes on to say that something very strange was caught in this room just a few days ago. This incident was actually captured by his coworker, who was setting up new furniture in this room. Mind you that during this time, the second floor wasn't occupied, meaning that all the rooms on this floor were devoid of any guests. It was just both employees working inside this room when this was caught. This is, I found that. Yeah, but... How do you <laughs> the stairs? I don't know, but... Oh, okay, the light in the room doesn't work. Bad, but also... No, don't feel bad. It's just terrible. You pointed at nothingness. I just saw black. Here? In this corner? The right corner. Okay. Or in that corner. I don't know. I mean, like, I know it's super dark right now, but I feel like personally it would look better in this area. There's just too much backlight. There's like not enough good. I don't know. That's true. But I mean, you can see if someone's trying to like break into your room. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. All right. Weirdo. <laughs> In the mirror, a distinct outline of a pitch black silhouette can be seen in the corner uh, of the room. It appears to stand there while seemingly observing the girls do their job. For only a brief moment do we see the tall figure in the mirror, but as the camera pans to the corner where the figure was spotted, it's no longer there. Like before, the girls were freaked out beyond belief. They have no idea as to who or even what had been in the room, but they'd rather not know, let alone go back inside, as the whole encounter has left them pretty spooked. Whether it's the elevator acting up or the constant phone calls made from this room, they can't shake the feeling that something very strange is going on with the second floor of the hotel. As of now, there haven't been any updates, but until then, let me know your thoughts on this one. Um, still, fuck that bitch. Number six. Now this next video comes from a man who while being alone at home, spots something out of the corner of his eye. It happened while being in his living room, scrolling on his phone. For some reason, he couldn't shake the feeling that someone was watching him. Paranoia was getting the best of him like as he thought, so he tried his best not to think me. much of it. But just when he started to ease up, he sees it. 
a figure standing at his window. He immediately takes out his phone to record it on the off chance that no one would believe him. Now we don't see the figure on camera, but something else happens that terrifies him to his core. This is what he caught. Okay, look, I'm really tripping out now. Something was looking at me through the window. Is that a bug in your house? And I heard... This video is really... I'm freaking the fuck out. This added sound effects is not helping Bizarre. I'm tripping too. Okay. There's something in this house with me. something in here I'm telling you I'm not fucking looking no no but no what initially comes off as just a video of someone being paranoid is in fact footage of something completely different this is made obvious by the sudden movement of kitchen items, but even before that, the man's overwhelming sense of unease makes it clear that something strange is going on. Whatever it might be that's happening, oh, yes, the man lies. hopes to get more of it on camera, and even if he doesn't, then at least he can rest assured that this was captured. Okay. It's just like that ominence. I don't fuck with that ominence feeling. It's the same reason why I could have not finished Resident Evil 7. I beat Resident Evil 7 with no issues. Back when I had no channels doing anything when the game first released, I played it on my PS4, they launched, but on my TV speaker. I didn't hear no ominence. I didn't hear no 3D audio. I didn't hear none of that. Replaying Resident Evil 7, even though I know the monsters and where they're gonna spawn or whatever, it had a whole entirely different feeling universally universally un universally universally not university tremendously huge okay it was a tremendously different experience just boundless times different this makes no sense i don't know the fuck i'm talking about but going from tv speakers to a gaming headset that's not cheap with the ps4 giving me 3d audio fuck that i couldn't beat it that's why i was looking away because it's just the added music bizarre puts in these clips that i don't fuck with at around three in the morning a truck driver is heading northbound on the i-57 when suddenly he begins to panic something had just appeared in his field of vision and whatever it was it made him feel terribly disturbed the person driving is known as Ken McGill, and throughout all his road trips and delivering goods, nothing as unsettling as this has ever occurred. Not sure what he saw, he pulls to the side of the road and reviews the footage captured by his dash cam. Looking at the video, he was glad to have pulled over far away from what he'd seen. This is what he caught. She can go meet up with him and see if she can get him to confess. And it's a tough decision, I'm sure. Wow. She's walking. Out of nowhere, a person dressed in white appears close by. No, they like, almost seem to come out of nowhere before leaving out of sight. Also had like shorts. It happens quickly, but not so fast that it's overlooked. Ken is no doubt thankful that he caught this, but he's also completely terrified. And for good reason. Only a day later after posting this video, an accident had occurred at this exact spot. Reports indicate that those involved in the accident saw a lady dressed in white in the middle of the road, causing them to swerve the car to avoid hitting her. However, when interstate police looked at security footage that caught the event, they only saw the car swerving and crashing, but not the lady they claimed to have seen. It appears that they swerved for no apparent reason. 
While those in the accident swear that they saw a woman, Ken believes that something supernatural had appeared. Whether ghost or not, this whole incident continues to baffle him. That's insane. What do you tell your insurance? Bro, I I swerved my car because it was a girl in a white shirt and booty shorts walking across the highway. I try to avoid hitting her. And then the insurance sees that bridge cam and they're like, bro, there's nothing there. And you have two people say, no, motherfucker, I saw her. My own two eyes. She was crossing the street. Is there like a spooky car insurance that could help you? Like instead of having like Geico, would it be like Godco? I don't know. I'm going to shut the fuck up and go to the next video. Number four. On a Wednesday night, a family shoots a video to record a special occasion. It's someone's birthday and they just got surprised. The person whose birthday is being celebrated is known as Danny, and although expecting a surprise party from his wife and kid, he was not expecting the following incident. What the was hell caught is that? during this moment has left the family immensely terrified. This is Danny's video. What type of candle? My birthday was the other day, and my wife surprised me with some sorbet, and my son blows sorbet. out my candles. <laughs> After relighting the candles, I looked at the footage and saw something. Now it happens real fast, but in case you missed it, here it is again. It's hard to see at first, but if you slow the footage and watch closely, you'll notice what looks to be a figure standing behind the family. Only there for just a split second does it appear on camera, leaving Danny unsure as to what was captured. Thinking that his eyes were deceiving him, or that it was just his own shadow, he takes a second look. But after seeing this multiple times and sharing this clip with others, he's come to realize that something was in fact behind him. So then, just who or what was at his party? Your last birthday. Number now, three. Just like the previous video, this one involves a family celebrating someone's birthday. What's up with your birthdays being spooky birthday, as fuck? Like any birthday celebration, a candlelit cake is placed before the honored guest. But there's something about this video that sets it apart from any other festive moment caught on camera. My boy look good While for 69. Sing happy birthday. This happens. Happy birthday, dear Ben. Happy birthday to you. What? Yo, to you. Happy birthday to you. To you. Happy birthday, dear Ben. Happy birthday. Just like viewers, Ben, the birthday boy, is caught off guard upon seeing smoke rise from his cake. It wasn't until looking down that he realized his candles had been blown out. He didn't blow them, and neither did anyone else, according to the party. He didn't get blown either. No one blew out the cake. Then what did? This video becomes even stranger when looking at the footage taken from a different perspective. From this angle, we have a closer look at the candles, but it's the way in which they're supposedly blown that makes this incident baffling. They appear to go out as though someone or something had been right in front of the cake, yet the only person who's closest to it is Ben, who clearly doesn't do anything. It isn't certain as to what exactly happened that day, but if viewers had a guess, they would assume something unexplainable had taken place. Let me try this because he went like he may have released, you know, chuckling some air out his nose. Let me let me just. Wow, look at that. Oh, my God. That's from my nose. So again, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. You know, I should do that a lot for these fucking videos, but.
But y'all see what I did? I used my nose to blow air and it stopped it. Look at his face the moment it goes out. Look at the direction where it gets blown. Because his back is not getting blown for his birthday. His number is 69. Nobody's getting blown. Something unexplainable but had taken place. It isn't the person who's closest to it is Ben. Look at clearly it. doesn't do anything. See? It isn't certain and who's closest to it is Ben, who clearly doesn't do anything. He laughs. It isn't certain as to what exactly he happened laughs. that goes, day. Ha, 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 but if viewers ha, ha, had a guess, they would assume something unexplainable had taken place. If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out, I don't and got milk. Compilation, you can send them over I to scarywideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. In this next video, a child is getting ready to go to school when something very strange happens. It was on a Monday at around 7 a.m. that this happened. He was packing his lunch for school at a time when no one else was awake. It was just him alone downstairs in the kitchen. This is where the mother claims to have heard her son screaming out of his lungs in the most gut-wrenching manner. The video captures this, but there's also something else that's caught that no one in the family could explain. Okay. This is their footage. These are their stories. Dun dun. A voice with perfect clarity is heard on camera. The mother's son claims that it came from the kitchen, yet no one had been downstairs during this time. The whole space was empty apart from her son being there, but as it seems, he wasn't alone. Now this whole incident gets even creepier when listening to the story provided by the mother. According to her, this is what happened after her son came bolting into the bedroom upstairs. <laughs> he said that he heard a voice coming from the cabinets um, that said to him, how did you find me? Um, when he dropped his noodles, he ran upstairs, came busting in my room, jumping all over my bed, hiding in the corner, screaming and hollering, saying he didn't want to die. Girl, somebody please. was in the house, somebody was in the house, uh -uh. telling me to get my, because somebody was in the house, somebody was in the house. And I'm like, and he finally did get a little mm -mm. bit quiet. We started hearing footsteps. I mean, nah, big, hmm. heavy feet coming up the steps. So like now at this point, I'm terrified. I, I throw my robe on, I push him into the room with his brothers. Okay. As she states, the sound of footsteps going up the staircase was heard just moments after her son came running into the room. Everyone else had been inside the room, so she had no clue as to who was on the staircase. But after watching this video, she now knows. Either someone was actually there, or, or as someone believed, hacked into her security comprehension had paid them a visit. Whatever the case might be, her son's guttural scream will stand out as the most horrifying part about this incident, according to the mother. Don't take what I did as a way to diss the ethnicity of the person. Nah, I know a lot of females that talks. They, their head moves when they talk. It's just part of how they are. I do the same thing too. If you watch all my videos, I talk with my hand. So it's something that's just normalized, but women, they move their hands with their head. So when they go like that, they, everything goes with how they talk. So she pushed her kid over there because he's banging on my door. Like the fuck? He don't pay no bills in this house being knocking on my door. What the fuck? Hell nah. Hell nah. And it, this usually the three fingers too. Hell nah. Man, you know, he was just going, man, fuck out of here. It's just, I'm used to that kind of activities and ways of describing things. It's either the Italian way or it's just like the minority way. I'm a minority, I'm Puerto Rican. We talk with our hands too. Number one. In this last video, a couple of nurses are working the night shift at a hospital in Dallas, Texas, when things get very strange. 
Dallas. This video was taken on a certain floor of this hospital where many patients claim to have seen unexplainable things. On this particular night, two nurses are cleaning up a medical station when this is captured. Is the one that here is crying? Did you hear her? Yes. Jess. You hear her? So I see them so like we we woke them up. We woke them up. It's very faint, but if you raise the volume, you'll hear what sounds like a little girl humming or even giggling. You hear her? It's easy to miss the first time, but upon hearing it, you won't miss it again. You'll notice this after watching the following video in which another nurse at the same hospital captures this. Um. That was you. No, I swear to God. Was that something? Once they heard again, singing. the same humming sound is heard. Keep in mind that no one was occupying these rooms during this time, ruling out the possibility of this having been a patient, or at least a physical one. Because apparently, nurses believe that the humming sound is being made by the spirit of a little girl who was once a patient at this hospital but passed away. Whether or not that's the case remains uncertain, but regardless, this video is still a mystery as no one at the hospital knows who's making these humming noises. Like most videos, there has yet to be a definitive explanation for what happened. The hospital is the breeding ground of a lot of spiritual activity. The amount of deaths that happen in hospitals. It's not something obviously done purposely. It's unfortunately a lot of people's last moments on this earth they deal with different types of diseases or just natural causes and alzheimer's and all these different variation of things and their last moments are in hospitals fears from all ages from kids infants newborns to the elderly even the middle-aged your time could be Anytime. Not to make this like all dark and sophisticated or sophistical or spiritual or, you know, deep thoughts with Rick. Not trying to do all that, but it's just the hospitals is just breeding grounds. Like even if, for example, for those who have watched Supernatural, the best TV show ever to exist. And last seasons, we don't talk about that, but the actual good seasons, the episodes where they introduced Reapers was from a hospital and it was a reaper that will go to different rooms and pick who to take with that being said this is the end of scary cotton number 90 or version 90 from bizarre bub i don't do this kind of stuff again i skipped a lot of bizarre bub's videos there's a whole bunch in the 60s 50s 40s 30s 20s 10s and ones that i have not watched i will go through them very soon we have introduced two new channels, Slapped Ham and Sir Spooks. They should be the last two videos I have uploaded or the last three videos. I forgot my uploads. I've been busy with life and life and other stuff with life, like blinking and breathing. So shit happens. But since we have four channels now attached to this channel that deals with the spirit realm, the supernatural, the unnatural, the horror, the UFOs, sightings, Everything that deals with the unnatural life, ghosts, spirits, poltergeist activities, to so just the unexplained. We have four channels now attached to this channel. I would do everything I can, which I have been up to date with Nuke. I will get up to date with Vizar. Then maybe down the line, I will try my best to get up to date with Sir Spook and Clapped Ham. Please, I don't like saying this all the time. Help me with the algorithm. And the only way for you to help me with the algorithm is liking the video. And subscribing.
and doing all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, it's just the way it goes. And that's how this website works. I hate saying it, but honestly, if you want me to continue this type of series, try to make it more times a week. You guys got to be more vocal. I'll go back to having two reactions a week. Right now, life has been lifing, which I couldn't do two videos a week now, which is one reaction, one gaming. But help me out. If you guys could help me get to at least 20 likes, 50 likes, share this video around. Just help spread this channel and these videos as much as you can. So I could come back to making this, you know, my full time, like my full, full time job. I don't have to focus on trying to get an editing job or focus on editing for other people or other stuff I do on the side. I could come back to making this my full time effort and focus. If you just guys just do one little small thing for me and just liking the video. On that note, until next time, guys, I love your faces and I'm out. Peace. Uh.